What's up, guys? It's your boy Justin. Uh, welcome to Dundraw's podcast. Today, I'm reviewing Memoir of a Murderer, which is directed by Shin Yeon Wan, starring So Kyung Ku, Nam Gil Kim, Seo Hong Kim, and Dao Su Oh. So, <laughs> this is this was a super dark. <laughs> Uh, crime, uh, uh, crime mystery thriller. Uh, it, in a lot of ways, it reminded it reminded me of um, the Nolan film. Um, the the Nolan film. <laughs> How ironic! I can't remember the name of the movie. <laughs> oh, what, what was it called? Memento. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so th- this movie is about a retired sil- serial killer who who is suffering from dementia, who has a twenty-something-year-old young, beautiful daughter, and there's a serial killer on the on the loose, right? And, and at first, he thought it was him regressing to his. Um, you know, it was him starting up the his, the killings again, right? Until he runs into the the murderer, right? Who happens to be a police officer who um, recognizes him as a murderer as well and starts to um, date <laughs> date the ser- the serial killer the serial killer's daughter to get at him, and you have this two hour basic like mind game psychological warfare between these two serial killers a young a young man serial killer um who's a cop and like um the aging the aging serial killer with dementia you know who uh who was a veterinarian a veterinarian right and at first it's funny how the movie at first you think cause you get like you get told his life story because he starts to, um, one of the things he has to do that, you know, as treatment for his Alzheimer's is keep a memoir, right? So he tells you his life story and I, you know, he, he came from abusive, abusive, uh, home, right? And I, at first you think, oh, he's like a Dexter serial killer, right? <laughs> Cause he's like, oh, I only kill people who deserve it. He says, well, when, when you when they they start when he starts showing you some of the reasons he kill, he was starting to kill people they were uh uh yeah it was very mundane some of them were very mundane right uh though the one because he's a vet right the one where like he killed a woman because she beat her her shih tzu to death because it, it swallowed a diamond ring okay <laughs> that was yeah right um, but yeah, that, yeah, the movie is basically this mind game, like dark mist, like dark thriller, um, dark thriller where you have like a mind game between like you know um, two serial killers, right? And no, and nobody believes them that the young guy is a serial killer, right? Um, that the young guy is a serial killer, they think he's confused, right? And he's he and ends up he starts putting to. to Suspicion on himself, right? Um, the movie kind of starts off like you think almost like a dark comedy because he's like he's he goes because like he, he he goes he goes to like you know po- poetry class because they, they say poetry helps with Alzheimer's, uh, before um, constantly getting like you know, um, c- constantly um, getting like you know hit on by the by this cougar chick, right. Um, but yeah, the movie, and the movie just gets darker. The movie, it has some dark comedy. Like, there's a scene where, like, it, that's straight out from Memento, where he, 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 even though he has Alzheimer's, he continues to work as vet, which they showed some, they, they showed some footage of some of the animals at the vet, and where you see a, a, a dog with a broken leg, a, a cat with no eyes, you know, he, He's treating this cat, white fluffy cat named Michelle, who uh, Michelle, who he accidentally kills because he put, he injects her uh, too many times with with her medicine, and he had to close down the um, 
the, the, the clinic, right? <laughs> and, like, yeah. And there's also, what's cool, he has, like, uh, a cop friend called uh, ch- ch- the Chief Moonso or something. Not Min not Minso, so I forget his name. Uh, no, Chief uh, Byung Han or something. Who you find out later that, you know, he tells him, like, the reason why he became a cop. Right, and he quit like you know smoking is because you know uh, he he was in love with um, in love with a convenience store clerk who was murdered, and every and every since then he he's been keeping a pack of ci- the last pack of cigarettes he bought from her, and he's waiting till he catches the killer to uh, before he can like before, before he'll smoke it, right? Uh, which you know the the tragedy is it's like his friend, <laughs> the, the old man's serial killer, right? Uh, so that yeah, there's some tragic, there's some like uh, f- tragic shit. Um, there's like there's a funny scene where like I don't know if it's funny, but it's a sad s- scene where he goes to like he 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 he's basically has a, a stakeout wa- watching um, the the young man's serial killer, right? And you know he he's drinking he's drinking from a water bottle right. Um, he needs to piss, but he has to keep an eye on the serial killer. So he pisses in the bottle, and like a second later, he drinks from the water bottle. Man, it's like holy crap, um, holy crap. The movie the, is is a little bit of a I wouldn't call it a slow burn, burn, but it's a little slow in the first hour, but it really picks up in the second half, right? And you have a nice. Uh, climax, right? And the movie does do, do this thing where it's like, oh, is uh, what's his name a serial killer, or or is he not a serial killer, or he's just like you know, he, he he's he's just like uh, imagining things or whatever, right? He, he got it wrong, right? Because that's the, that's a cool thing with the movie. It makes you you have an unreliable narrator, right? Just like in Memento, so you. The movie makes you question: Oh, is he? Is the young man a really a serial killer, or you know, is he like you know, it, or it, it's all in his head and he's like mi- mixing stuff up? So I, I really like that aspect of the movie. There, there, there's some cool cinematography, right? There's some really tense. There's some really tense scenes in the movie, right? Um, there's a scene, like there's like a scene, a scene that. You know, it got, it got so tense, it was giving me Chaser vibes. Which, if you haven't seen the movie Chaser, that's a really good South Korean thriller, a uh, crime thriller, right? Dark thriller. And uh, the music, there's a, there's a really cool haunting song at the end, near the end of the movie, that reminded me of uh, like almost like an Anya song. <laughs> All right, that was that was nice. Um, though I, one thing I didn't like about the movie is the movie, uh, sequel baits. So, and I, I don't know if I want a sequel with a movie like this, right? Uh, yeah. But overall, I totally, I enjoyed the film. Uh, I, I enjoyed the film. I it wasn't a huge, you know, uh, one thing I didn't like is that they tried uh, I well I I can't say it without spoiling so I'm not gonna say it but like there there was a scene near the end where like you know um I I can't I can't spoil it but it's like it's just I didn't we didn't need that scene <laughs> right it wasn't a graphic scene or anything like that right but it was like oh it was like backstory for like another character which we who cares? Okay, <laughs> that wasn't like who cares, right? Overall, I enjoyed the movie, and I'm giving it eight out of ten. I highly, I highly recommend it. And the movie's on Tubi, so why not check it out? But holy crap, man! I was gonna one of my one of a movie that I've been waiting a long time to watch for uh, for a while now to review on the channel, which I came. It's impossible to find in store uh, in stores and online. Is cold in Ju- uh, cold in July. Which is another, which is like another crime thriller, but it's not, it's American one, right? Uh, but like, holy fuck, this movie was so dark and like, the uh, oppressing that I'm like, oh man, I need a, I'm, I need, like, I need some fucking, like, um, uh, 
I I need like a, a what's it called a cleanser? <laughs> a palate cleanser. I need a palate can cleanser after watching this fucking dark movie. <laughs> right. So yeah, I'm going to like you know, um, maybe I'll watch a comedy or something in between. But yeah, holy shit. So yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Peace.